So today I'm going to be talking about the 2K that took place over November 19th and November 20th, uh, which is yesterday and then the day before that. And I'm going to be talking about just kind of my review of the 2K, what I saw and what I believe um, going forward with some of the teams uh, and what they need to be doing to either, you know, improve or if it's time for a roster change, things like that, right? So before I get into the bracket, though, I'm actually going to read off the list of the pro point standings for the top 12 teams and then some notable teams not in the top 12. And I'm not going to tell you the points. Well, I'll say Optic has a almost 6,000 point lead on the second place team in this. So obviously, again, because Optic won both 2Ks, they are in a very good position right now. But number one is, of course... Optic Gaming. Number two, you have Luminosity Gaming. Uh, so Jcap, John, Octane, Slacked. You have Team Caliber, who is Chino, Accuracy, Theory, and Kenny. And they have now finished top four in both 2Ks, as long as as well as Luminosity. They Luminosity have finished in the finals of both. Um, and TK have finished top four in both. And they're definitely a team I'll be talking about uh, later in the video. But E6 is fourth. Team Envious is fifth. Uh, the uh, Parasites team, or like, you know, the rumored 100 Thieves team, uh, that isn't necessarily 100 Thieves, isn't necessarily not 100 Thieves. We don't really know what's going on with that, but Parasites team is what I'll call them for this video, is in sixth. Ghost Gaming is in seventh. Rise Nation is in eighth. Rocket Esports, which is Nelson, Demi, Twiz, and TCM, they are in ninth. Uh, Nagafen's team of, uh, who played with Sinful for this is, of course, because Study went to Parasite's team. For those who couldn't keep up with the roster moves, Nagafen's team picked up Sinful, and Study went to the Not 100 Thieves Parasite team. Uh, and then, so the bar, um, so basically top 10 gets you into pool play, uh, for the upcoming CWL event, CWL Dallas, which takes place December 8th through 10th. So getting top 10 is what puts you in the pools. And then in 11th, we have Evil Geniuses, which, of course, very good team. And then uh, in 12th place, we have Team, as they're on this graphic, Team Canada, which is Goonjar, Royalty, Proto, and Exotic. And now some other notables are E United is in 13th. Allegiance is in 17th. Uh, a team Stay Pure is in 18th, going Rogue, or Rogue, is 20th, Phase is 22nd, Era is 25th, Echo Fox is 30th, and Next Threat is 37th. Uh, and then, just to quickly bring up for e United fans, e United has 5,260 points in 13th, the team in 12th has 5,270, so literally... There's like a, you know, a 2 GB difference right there. And to be honest with you, once you get down to probably like 7th place in here, like 7 through 14 are all very changeable. So like, you know, 7 through 10 and maybe even 6 are not safe if they have a super bad performance. Like like for Parasite's team, if they get another like, I think top 8 or top 16, they should be fine to make in top 10, right? But overall, like some of these teams are very like unsure of their position still going forward uh, in the like top 10 cutoff for pool play. So now I'm going to be talking uh, about the bracket itself. And of course, to start off like I did my last video, Team Optic, or excuse me, Optic Gaming won the whole thing again. Uh, it was a little bit harder for them this time. Uh, they didn't have a 27 in one map count, although they did 3-0, I believe, every opponent except for Rise Nation, who took them all the way to game five. So credit to Rise Nation for that. Um, and I know from what I heard that some of the players were saying that uh, it, like, you know, they got host hosted a little bit by Optic, which you know, it's online. Like, I think, you know, every time a team loses an online match, they always are complaining about 
uh, losing because of host or something like that, not necessarily their own mistakes. So take that what you will. But regardless, Optic did win the 2K again, and that is credit to them. But the main team I want to talk about today, uh, well, actually, they're kind of the same teams I talked about in the first one. Uh, and so, again, the first team I'm going to talk about is Team Caliber. Because Team Caliber, if you remember, I said I didn't think had what it took to be a top four team. It turns out they are, in fact, a very good team. They have done it again. They have reached top four. This time they faced Luminosity in a really good series that I believe went 3-1. If I'm correct, yes, 3-1. And they had a, I mean, they played really well all weekend, Team Caliber. And so they, again, deserve all the credit in the world. They clearly are a team that is going to be able to compete in Pro League. Uh, you just hope that they can do it on land, right? Because uh, they are not necessarily new players, right? So, like, the fact that uh, you question if they can do it on land, like, maybe is certainly like less evident. Like I think they definitely can do it on land. I think the question is, is will they do it on land? And I think there's only really one way to find out. Uh, and that's to, of course, get to the land, <laughs> right? Because if they can get to the land, then they will be very, very good for themselves. So Team Caliber, like I said, top four. Again, they are going to be going to the pro pool play land. I did not expect this. Again, I've talked about it in my other video, my other two videos I did for the 2K so far this year, that they are certainly a surprise to me. And going forward, I think Team Caliber will... I don't know. See, I don't know what to think about Team Caliber, to be honest with you, because they. I still have a lot of questions about how good they can be against these top four teams, because, of course, they've made top four, but... Are they really going to be able to push that top five? You're not top five, like that top two, making a finals, winning a finals, um, which at this point, I'm not sure any team will win a finals besides Optic. Based on what we've seen so far, Optic are, you know, obviously very good at this game. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what Team Caliber's kind of like ceiling is uh, as far as their skill is concerned. So the next team is uh, I'm going to bring up his team envious and that's purely because of the fact that they did what I had predicted so I want to kind of you know uh, give myself a little bit of a pat on the back for that one uh, I thought team envious was a really good team and they kind of unperformed underperformed in the last 2k and in this 2k they did get top four of course they lost to optic 3-0 uh, after but overall I think it was a a pretty good pretty good event for them or pretty good tournament for them, excuse me. And um, that's kind of where I would expect a team with this many good players to be. Um, and they had some nice wins, of course. You know, they they beat FaZe Clan for T32. They beat Hellfire, which is Modi's team. So, uh, you know, like an online team, basically, <laughs> uh, in the round of 16. And then in the quarters, they beat EG 3-1. And then, of course, lost to Optic Semis T4. Uh, so just want to quickly, you know, say credit to them for, for that win or for that, uh, that win, you know, till they, be, till they played optic, you know? Uh, so next team is phase clan and phase clan, of course, did not do good again. And they, uh, have taken to Twitter saying that everyone needs to, you know, just calm down. They're going to be fine. Things like that. Um, when in fact they, are not certainly fine if you're looking at it looking at it from the aspect that they really really need to get these pro points uh, going forward to be able to uh, make it into pool play and I think I don't think mathematically they're out but they have to like make it to the finals or even like win the whole tournament I think to really be able to make it at this point I mean like I said before they are currently uh, 22nd on the pro point ladder. So they are 12 spots out of making it into pool play. Uh, and for phase, we didn't get to see any of their matches on stream because of course they didn't stream their early matches and then they lost to envy in T32 and envy didn't stream any of their matches either. So there's a lot of questions I think about phase going forward trying to see what their deal is because they lost to envy 
T32. They're now going to be the 22nd seed. And the 22nd seed is... Uh, I'm trying to quickly figure out what side of the bracket that would be on. That would be on the lower half of the bracket based on this. So they would play, uh, I believe, Luminos they would be on luminosity side, not optic side, which is good for them because obviously you can then make the finals. You don't have to run into optic before you're reaching that. But I think if FaZe somehow made the finals after this, that would be an incredible performance because I don't know how much you can attest FaZe's struggles to online and how much you can attest it to actually not understanding the game or the players don't work together or the third even being like that the players just they they're just not good they're just not good enough to compete at this level uh in this current format for them uh under phase clan and so you know personally i do believe that phase is a decent team i think they should end up making top eight once it comes time for pro league uh and securing their pro league spot in the, you know, the CWL uh, Pro League in, in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, but overall, I think it's going to be very hard for them to be able to um, operate at, like, such a high level, especially on LAN, I think. Uh, you know, it's hard to say because, like, we haven't seen LAN events, so we can't say, like, oh, well, this team didn't perform on LAN, things like that. Like, we can only talk about what the players have done in the past games, but the problem is is with most of FaZe Clan's players, outside of probably replay, actually, outside of definitely replays, and then kind of attach in Zuma towards the end of Ghosts, but overall, like, these players did not have, like land you know big land experience on boots on the ground right like attach was a world champion in aw you know uh you know obviously we know about replays for a while and zuma has played like a little bit in ghosts and then a lot in all the jetpack games and then obviously for pre it's like he came up last year in infinite warfare so it's um it's going to be very interesting to see how phase does because i think phase is in a really weird position where at this point, they're definitely, in my opinion, not going to make Pro League. I think them making the finals uh, is an absolute ludicrous thought. I don't think FaZe Clan will be making the finals of the next 2K. I'd love to see them prove me wrong. I'd love to see them kind of shake up the whole bracket uh, in the final 2K before the event. Well, not the final 2K before the event. The final 2K to earn a spot in the pool in pool play before the event. So... So yeah, I'd love to see them shake it up. I'd love to see them, you know, do really well and maybe even make it at that 10 spot or 9 spot, depending on how everything goes. Um, but I'm not entirely sure of the parameters for how they can make it or if they even control their own destiny to make it at this point. Um, I would assume that if they win the entire 2K, they would make it. So that's what I will say. Uh, if they if they win, I'd say they're definitely in. Um and then if they make the finals, I would say they're probably still in, but I don't, and I'm not entirely sure uh, about how that works. But moving on, um, other teams to talk about. Evil Geniuses did pretty good. They got top eight. Uh, they lost to Envy, but they beat E6 in a really nice best of five uh, that went went the full distance. Um, Evil Geniuses, I think they'll be a team that performs much better on LAN. Uh, I think, you know, Aix is a little bit better on LAN just in general. And I think all those players uh, really do, like, get better when you get to LAN. So I think from that aspect, they'll be fine going forward. Uh, and I think, you know, they're certainly a team that will perform uh, when the time comes on the big stages uh, of of Dallas. So, besides that, um, there's not too many more teams I want to talk about. Um, the only other team I probably want to bring up is Stumpy's team, 
who is currently looking for an organization. And if you're an org looking for a team, this team four kind of new ish top am players that are really making a splash so far online. I'd love to see them, uh, make pro league. You know, I'm not trying to like endorse them or anything, but I'd love to see them make pro league just to see, or not pro league, excuse me, make a pool play spot. Uh, because I think it'd be really cool to see, uh, a team of four players that are basically unknown, make it into pool play, similar to how E6 did it in advanced warfare. Like, I think that would be really cool, especially if they can be a good team on land, then you're really, you know, talking about a team with potential. Um, so they'll be 14th for the next 2k. Uh, so I wanted to say like, you know, like watch out for this team. If they can make something happen again in pool play, then they could be in a really good spot to make uh, the pool play as like kind of an unknown team. Um, and then besides that, I think the only other team I really want to talk about is Parasite. Parasite's team who, again, is now going to be in seventh place for, or excuse me, sixth place for pro points. Uh, they are still, I guess... I mean, they're not, I guess they're not technically looking for an org, so I guess I don't really need to endorse them. They have uh, like 100 Thieves unofficially is what the rumor is, but Parasite's team is looking pretty good on LAN, or pre looking pretty good online. I question their ability on LAN. Obviously, I think the two big question marks are Firo and Blast because they are S&D stars, and as far as I know, they have never played on a LAN and I don't think they certainly never made pool play on a LAN or played against like really good teams on a LAN. I mean, I'm sure they may have played like a local or two in their time. Um, but like I said, as far as I know, they've never played a really, really big team on LAN. So that'll be interesting to see once they get there. I, I don't buy into the nerves for them as much. Obviously they've played in big online tournaments countless times. Um, and they seem to be pretty composed in the two K's. Uh, from what I've heard and seen, um, outside of getting 1v4'd by JCap <laughs> in this 2K, uh, which Parasite, of course, then tweeted about saying that uh, his teammates were, were schlep. But uh, what are you going to do? You know, if your teammates are asleep, it's going to be pretty hard to win a 1v4. So, uh, But Parasite's team <laughs> is, yeah, I mean, Parasite's team is going to be hard to say what they're going to do, you know, because they're a pretty good team usually, but they definitely have some flaws to them. Uh, but I think Parasite will have the troops rounded up uh, by the time it gets gets to land. So overall, uh, it was a pretty good 2K. Uh, not too many surprises besides, I think, you know, the main two surprises being TK made top four again, although that clearly is not a surprise to some people. Some people rate them very highly, and um, I know watching Luminosity's streams for the 2K on Sunday and Monday that they actually said T -cal uh, Team Caliber was pretty good. So clearly I had just misjudged them. Uh, and of course, uh, that does happen sometimes. So I apologize to Team Caliber for saying that they're not good when clearly uh, they are. They are the real deal, and I'll admit it. Um, but overall, again, you know, FaZe Clan... Struggles again, and Team Caliber continues their rise to the top of the Pro Point ladder. And, of course, we will have a 2K coming up next weekend, and I'll be making a preview video for that later in the week, probably Thursday or Friday, maybe even Saturday, uh, depending on my schedule. But, yeah, I hope to see you uh, in the next video.